Hey, welcome back. If you're into magic and festivals, then you can find the best of both worlds. Professional magician and performer Taylor Martin is here with us this morning to tell us about two upcoming shows that you can check out. Oh, look at that handsome gentleman. <laughs> well, right off the bat, we've got to explain, okay, what is with the outfit? This is, I'm at the, um, the Enchanted Fairy Festival at Beasley's Orchard in uh, Danville this weekend. Today and tomorrow, there's three shows a day. And uh, this is what a magician from the Renaissance times might actually be wearing, okay. including his uh, trusty acorn cap, <laughs> which is made out of wool, which is not exactly the best for a warm day, but there it is. And so you're in character as Rodney as the Rodney Elder. As Rodney the Elder. Rodney yeah, the not Elder. to be confused, Rodney the Younger, that's me son. <laughs> so this is a, it's a period piece. Yeah. So you've got that going on today. Right, yeah. Um, but then you've got another show. I know Greenwood well, Pride is Well, in two weeks, out. yes, I'll be Andrea Merlin, the Queen of Magic. <laughs> and uh, she's uh, headlining the family stage at Greenwood Pride. Greenwood Pride is trying to do a uh, more family-oriented show than the, the, the Pride in Indianapolis. And it is the week before Pride in Indy on, on June 4th. And I will be headlining the family stage with two shows there. So that's going on uh, in the first weekend of June. Yeah, June 4th. Okay. Yeah. So. so we're going to get the details on both those shows uh, linked up at uh, fox59.com. You always come prepared. I come prepared. You I've got a little prepared. ball. I want you to feel a little ball. Okay, so ever this feels, is... Yeah, ever feel anything that soft, you can be honest. You're among it's friends. Very, it, maybe like one of the, the red oh, noses. Oh, well, it's sometimes people think it is, but I don't think a red nose could do that. Oh, darn, it went down in the haversack again. Where is it? <laughs> All right. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me have your hand. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Not the finger, please. Ow. Got to drive today. <laughs> All right, now, hold on to that. In fact, put your other end around it. Keep it nice and like tight. Like this? Yeah, don't trust me because I don't. Okay. But watch, here's the ball. Let's get it in frame. There we go. The ball does not disappear. It gets tinier what? and tinier and tinier. So tiny, I can go boop. So that one plus one is how many? Two. Hold up your hand slowly. There's two in your hand just like that. There we go. No, there was one when you put it in there. No, well, that's the idea. Here, you hold on to that one. Okay. Now there's one when I put it in there, and I'll just take that one back. <laughs> Isn't so, that, you've, you've said the up-close magic like that is, it, it's the most challenging to do, isn't it's it? It's the most challenging, and I'll just drop the accent for a moment. It's the most challenging, and it is the most fun when you get that reaction on their face, and they just drop, and their mouths open up. And well, it's an amazing, because I didn't, you know, feel yeah, anything you won't happen feel there, anything no. like that. No. Huh. It, it's like when kids walk up to me and says, are you a real magician? I say I'm as real as they've ever been. Do, I was going to ask too if you've seen, I and mean, I never know if this is awkward or what, well, but like the new Doctor Strange oh, yes. film. You know, oh, of yeah. course that's cinema magic, not stage yeah. magic, but I mean. But it, 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 people then come and see us. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, there are people who are asked to go to the Marvel sets and entertain them with magic. Uh, my friend Blake Voigt, who is from uh, uh, Lebanon, taught yeah. by Mark Lehman. He's the one who did the magic for Ant-Man and the Wasp. So they consult on They consulted him, wow. yeah. They saved him probably a half million dollars in CGI <laughs> by teaching them sleight of hand. So you can just do it practically. Yeah, yeah. and all those people were real good. Well, that ended up being a good day for him, too. Well, I'm it was sure. a very good day for him, and also he's good friends with all the people at Marvel, which is nothing to balk at yeah, these days. At hey, thank you so much hey, for Zach, coming it's in. Well, Two good shows coming two up Two shows soon. today at Beasley's Orchard in Danville. Look at... Uh, centralinfairyfestival.com or dot org and uh, they'll give you all the information. And we'll link it up at fox59.com and we'll be back with your latest uh, headlines coming up right after this. <laughs>